heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all Waiting for it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 19 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Marvin Vittori! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. Do you think you're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, connects with the one-two. And just misses with that big right hand. Starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, 
try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, that's a good strike there by Short. Nice defense there. Huge block. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, overhand left. No good. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Nice loop and punch. Just a slip there. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, countered nice. Oh, strike lands there and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy tonight. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes.